Hi there, I'm Andy Hillier, and in this video I'm going to teach you how to play Bell Chow. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, someone requested this on one of my other videos. Actually, they've been, it's been requested a few times. Uh, so I've done a, a version it, on the um, YouTube video. It said La Casa del Papel, I think was... I don't know exactly what this song is. Uh, but I've done that version of it, but there's some other versions online of it as well. But they're all based around the same song. Um, okay, it sounds like this. And it goes on. Okay, right, so let's learn this little intro part. Sounds nice. Just goes, it's a little starting phrase, which goes E5, E4, B6, B5, and that starts on three ends. So you go one, two, three, and then we've got on the E string, we're going all the way up to ten, and we're going to go ten, eight, seven, five. So ten, eight, seven, five. So from the beginning, it goes two, three. And then it's going to start this next phrase the same, so it goes E5, E4, B6, B5, then straight to B6 again, E4, E5, E7, E10, E8, E7, and then the last bar goes 5, 4, 5. So let's put the whole of that together nice and slowly, 1, 2, 3, 2, 3. And up speed, one, two, three. Okay, so that's that little melody part. And then the chords for the rest of the song. Uh, it's gonna go A minor. Uh, I'm doing it as a bar chord. You could just do an easy version of the A minor with your first finger on B1, second finger on D2, and third finger on G2. But I'm playing it as a bar chord with my first finger barred across the fifth fret, third finger on A7, and little finger on D7. So that's an A minor chord. And we're going to play on the offbeat, so one, and two, and three, and four, and. You can put a little um, like root note on beat one as well, which kind of makes it sound good. Okay, so it does that for uh, three and a half bars, and then you can see there on the fourth bar, the last two beats, we've got a C sharp diminished chord, which is your first finger on A4, second finger on D5, third finger on B5, and little finger on G6. Um, you could just play A minor through that and ignore that passing chord as a C sharp diminished if you wanted to make it easier. Um, you could just play A minor through the whole bar, but on the track it went to this C sharp diminished. And then it goes to a D minor chord, which is your first finger again barred across the fifth um, fifth fret, but this time only to the A string. Uh, and you put your second finger on B6, third finger on D7, and little finger on G7. So that's D minor, or you could do the easy version, which is your first finger E1, third finger B3, second finger on G3. Or G2, sorry. So either D minor works. Uh, playing on the offbeat. Then goes back to A minor. Then up to E7, which is first finger barred on the seventh fret uh, from the A string downwards. Third finger on D9, and little finger on B9. So does that E7 for a bar? Or if you wanted an easy version, you can just put your first finger on G1. Uh, and second finger on D, no, A2. And that's an E7 chord as well, just first finger on G1, second finger on A2. I'm going to play it up here, and then it goes back to A minor for the last bar. So if we put the whole of that line together, it goes one, two, three, four.
And it just goes around that, um, sometimes on the last bar, instead of just going A minor for the whole bar, it goes A minor, E7, A minor, so A minor, E7, A minor, uh, just on the last bar. Uh, the rest of the times it just goes around that. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed that, especially the person who um, requested it. Uh, hopefully that's done the version that you wanted of it. Uh, lovely little song, great fun to play. Uh, if you have enjoyed this video, if you could subscribe to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, uh, I'd really appreciate that. If you could give me a like, share the video, and put some comments, because putting comments uh, on my videos, I think it helps it boost it up and perhaps gets me more views. So if you could just spare a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds, just literally write a comment, that would be amazing. Thanks for watching this. I've been Andy Hillier, and I'll see you next time.